Leukocystis carcinoma, a subtype of squamous cell carcinoma, a cancer of the skin. This cancer presents with cauliflower-like growths that look like a giant wart. This lesion may also occur on the skin of the head, neck, or mouth area, and two major risk factors of developing this cancer include tobacco and snuff. Crested scabies is also known as Norwegian scabies. This occurs in conditions that compromise cellular immunity like AIDS, lymphoma, leprosy, or even occasionally in older adults. Mainly the scalp, hands, and feet will be infected, however any area may be affected. The crest and lesions are malodorous, which means they have a distinct odor. And lastly, the crust and scales are packed with mites that number in the hundreds of thousands. Mumps cases have decreased significantly due to vaccination since 1967. The presentation is fever, malaise, which is discomfort, headache, myalgias or muscle aches, and anorexia. Parotitis is swelling of the parotid gland, and it can be seen in this picture. It's a classic feature of the mumps infection. This is caused by bacteria called Neisseria gonorrhea. It infects newborn infants when they are born to mothers who are infected with gonorrhea. This infection may also cause blindness in the newborn. Tissue necrosis is a medical term for tissue death. In this picture, severe tissue necrosis occurred following a Bothrops asper a snake bite. Um, this leg ended up needing to be amputated above the knee. This is from an 11 year old boy who was bitten two weeks earlier and he was only treated with antibiotics. Typically, a venomous snake bite should be treated with an anti-venom that is specific for the type of snake that inflicted the wound. Thank you.